Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life Channel. It's Irina here and I'm happy to see you. In this video we're discussing a rather important topic, maybe a little bit more serious than usual, is we're talking about forced bathing and how can that boost natural killer cell function. Well, a little preface here. I remember that being a child, my grandmother always um, asked me and told me, because we've been having lots of walks in the forest in my childhood, uh, to hug a tree. It might seem a little weird, right, hugging a tree, but you know, try it if you have, have never tried that before, because it gives you some weird, strange, but very empowering sensations, uh, especially if you think about it. Uh, when you hug the tree, well, first of all, you get a hug, or you give one, and uh, second of all, this energy that I believe the tree has, especially if you want to get something good out of it, it's like going through you. It's also a very good thing um, to pick a tree you want to hug. It might be a very huge tree, a very old tree, which it seems to be, and then you want to hug that. Or you just want to be very beautiful and tiny little one that you want to protect from the wind and cold, and you hug that. So it is a very deep philosophy here if you just think about it. But forest bathing is not about hugging trees so much. It's, it's um, a traditional practice in Japan when you visit a forest and you breathing, uh, breathe in uh, its air and you sort of relax and enjoy this atmosphere. Something not very many of us can can say, right? So how, what was the last time you've been in the forest or maybe out in the nature? Uh, and a lot of people don't even realize that it may be their uh, place of power. Well, this is for me, for example. So, and what's important is that the studies have shown that this forest bathing technique practice, it uh, can induce significant increases in the number and activity of natural killer cells. And what's important here is that this effect can last for as long as a month. So this is some serious thing happening inside your body in the chemistry and all. And uh, because those natural killer cells, they are one of the ways your body well, actually fights cancer by um, killing the tumor, killing off the tumor cells. Um, and, and this finding suggests that the forest's uh, visit may have a preventative effect um, on cancer generation and uh, progression. So, but it is a very good question how. So in this video I wanted to discuss with you of all the possible ideas, right? Uh, what is it so so about this forest environment. So I think one of the reasons, not even I think, it's been proven and it's obvious, is that being in the forest uh, kind of is related to the um, reduction in stress. So where when we are in the forest, it's it's a completely different environment. It's different noises, different different atmosphere, and our body relaxes naturally. So if you measure the amount of the adrenaline flowing um, through your system, through my system, and um, then you know you hang out um, in the forest, not in the city. There will be a significant drop in the adrenaline levels, right? So it really checks out. Amazing is that? It's a natural thing to calm you down because um, the way we live in a normal life, our brain is wired this way that in this environment this is the way we do and it is probably not the place for relaxation and most of us don't even have one the way we relax is uh, with a glass of something or um, emotional eating this is the way we think we sort of relax our we sort of relax ourselves, but there is no real true place of relaxation unless you meditate and you have that special place where you could do that. Another thing is that if we look at the uh, Petri dish and um, we um, drip some adrenaline on human blood cells in the Petri dish, uh, it, will not, um, it will not be effective. Another stress hormone, a well-known one, is, is cortisol. Um, it, on the other hand, it dramatically suppresses um, the natural killer cell activity. So maybe the forests, which led to less stress, uh, less cortisol, all they release the natural killer cells um, under you know, the circumstances. So this way everybody got even a bigger boost. So this is very good. Now, um, being surrounded by na nature can even decrease the cortisol levels in our saliva. 
now and of course in our bloodstream. There was a study that um, a significant drop after just a single day trip to the forest and a week later the cortisol was normalizing and the forest effect sometimes appeared to last uh, an entire month. Can you imagine that? So anything else that could cause a long-term immune system change it is really hard to come up uh, by like something we could all do. Everyone has this opportunity. So um, another thing is that in the forest there are a lot of so-called old friends uh, because if we sample the indoor and outdoor air they will be significantly different. Um, in the outdoor uh, air there are there are a great amount of microorganisms that just floating um, about from the soil or from the water and uh, they are completely absent in the indoor sort of artificial air, right? It is dominated by different kind of organisms which might not always be beneficial for us even. That's why it is a very good idea to always ventilate and air your rooms in the house and spend as much time outdoors as you can. So, um, on a one-to-day basis, um, in terms of keeping our immune system in, um, uh, on ready alert, it might not be sufficient to only encounter those uh, microbes that we all have in our modern synthetic um, indoor environments. They really lack some of those old friends that probably really bear a little resemblance to the microbes we involve to live with over million, millions of years. Now, another um, reason why forest might be so um, calming and promotes this uh, relaxation effect is the um, aromatic compounds that are in the forest. They're called phytoncides. For example, um, pinene is one of them, you know, something we could get from the pine trees and trees from that family. If we breathe it with our lungs, you know, when you come into the forest and if it's the pine forest, for example, you, can, you cannot help but breathing it in. And what it what turns out is that it can really get into your bloodstream. And say one hour in the woods, you um, get like a six-fold increase of pinene in your bloodstream. So it is really great, like, right? Those, those, the levels of this, they increase the levels of pinene and they're circulating through your system. And um, so to fully connect all the dots, for example, those um, compounds like pinene and um, these sort of natural tree essential oils, they would have uh, also helped to induce natural killer cell function in their activity. Um, Another reason, another, another study that is very interesting here, so you might say, okay, I don't go to the forest, what if I just buy uh, some pine essential oil or, uh, or some other essential oil? Actually, uh, this magic fragrance ingredient of the forest might work. If you're using essential oils um, at home, it can boost uh, the natural um, killer cell activity, but unfortunately, it does not boost their number. Well, you know, and being in the actual forest can do both for you. And as I've mentioned, the effect can last for, for, for a while. So ironically, these uh, natural tree uh, and forest compounds, they are a part of the tree's immune system, and um, which m we may be able to commandeer. And the researchers, they speculate, you know, um, with these facts, and they think that it might play a very significant role to the fact why in Japan, especially I mean heavily forested areas, they have such low cases of breast cancer and prostate cancer. It's important to mention that just being in, out in nature has been found to be a very important coping strategy for the cancer patients. And just, um, this is like um, serious information that even the scientists ha have been interested in. And with all these things said, uh, we could just spot them all up saying that definitely if there is a reduction of stress, there is a place which can reduce our stress and adrenaline and cortisol levels. We definitely need to just run and use that opportunity, especially during the summer months when it's warm and you can actually relax in the forest. And, um, and my trick, which I started my video with, just hugging a tree does not require you to go out in the forest, but it still brings you a little closer to nature. What you can also do is maybe observe the nature, like if you see flowers, you can smell them, be careful of bees, and you could just maybe touch them, how soft their petals are, and just try to get more involved, and you don't require the trip to the forest because I realize sometimes you live in a place where there's just no forest and maybe barely some trees but you could 
definitely do that as well. Essential oils uh, to the cure, but there is nothing that can beat a natural um, forest walk. I hope this information has been interesting, really helpful at some, um, at some point, and you will be resourceful and think out how can at least for maybe seldom, uh, how can at least for, how can you make even several trips a year to the forest and absorb it and enjoy it. I really wish you that. And don't forget to hug a tree today, to hug your friend today, somebody, just hug somebody and a tree. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any ideas for the videos you want me to make, definitely share them with me. I'll be more than happy to prepare a video for you. And um, I wish you all the best. I wish you to uh, control your stress levels, live a happy and long life. And I'll see you later. Bye.